Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackalit Educational Channel. So this is the Unit 9 Part 44 for the UGC NET Environmental Science Syllabus and we are dealing with the expected questions which can come in the NET Environmental Science paper. So this unit is about statistics and we have completed all the 43 parts. You can check the link given in the description as well as in the I button. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So we'll start with the very simple and basic question. So this question already came in the net paper and the question was HB percentage that means hemoglobin percentage of an animal was recorded as 6, 7, 4, 5, 5, 3 and 4. So these were the measurements taken for the hemoglobin of an animal gram per 100 ml. So per 100 ml these many hemoglobin percentage was found and the question is asking that to calculate the median of this data. So we have to find the median data for the hemoglobin percentage per 100 ml of sample solution. So we will know how to do this. So this is very simple and here is the answer. So how to first know these things. So first if you are going to find any median of any given data, we have to arrange them in the ascending order. That means from smaller to larger value. So let us arrange them 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6 and then 7. So you should match whether these things are correct or not. So after writing every number, you should tick all this number. So then what we have to do, we have to find the number of score is 7. Score means number of sample or the given data is 7. So 7 data are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 data. So this is 7 is an odd number. So to find the median of the odd number sample, the formula is n plus 1 by 2th term will be the median value of that data. So what is that n plus 1 th? n is 7 that means number of sample is 7. So 7 plus 1 divided by 2 will be 8 by 2 that means fourth term will be the median of this data and which one is the fourth term? So fourth term is the 5 that means 1, 2, 3 and 5 is the fourth term of this data after arranging in the ascending order. So you should arrange it in the ascending order then you should apply this formula then you will get the answer that is median will be 5 in this case. So it will be 5 grams per 100 ml for the median data of this given sample. Now let's move to the next question. So this is very simple. Next question is again biological base and this question is asking how many triplet codons or triplet codes are possible by the four nitrogenous base in DNA molecule. So if you don't know these things, so these are basic, you should know this because from here only you can be able to find the answer. So there are four nitrogenous bases in our DNA that are adenine, guanine, thymine and cytosine. So ATGC you should remember and you should recall in 12th class you would have learned this one. So ATGC are the DNA molecule bases and this question is asking how many codons or triplet codes are possible by using these four bases. So you should note that codes which are present in the DNA molecule of these bases are in triplet that means it can be ATC it can be ATG. So these are in 3-3 three, three pairs that's why they are called as triplet codon. So it is asking how many codons are possible. So first we have to make 3 boxes because 3 nitrogenous base we have to include to make a triplet codon or triplet code. So here in one first box how many number of nitrogenous bases are possible. So there are 4 bases which are possible that is A is possible, T is possible, G is possible and C is also possible. So we will write 4 inside this box. Coming to the second box. So second box in the triplet code. So in second box also 4 nitrogenous bases are possible because it can be adenine, guanine, thymine or cytosine. Similarly in case of the third box for the triplet 4 codons are possible. So what we have to do is 4, 4, 4 we are getting and we have to multiply this. Why? Because these things are required. We will be knowing in the next question which we will be dealing that if it is given or or and what we have to do. So here it is and case I will tell you. So what is and case we will be knowing in the next slide. So just remember it is and case that means here in first also you should include one of the four nitrogenous base. In second also we have to include one nitrogenous base and in third also we have to include one nitrogenous base. So and means all three are included. So 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 will give the answer as 64 which is the number of triplet codes possible by the use of these 4 nitrogenous base in DNA molecule.
let's move to the third question so this question is actually from the cards the question is one playing card is drawn from a new deck of cards so that is meaning that new deck of card means there are total 52 cards present and what is the probability that it is a queen or king so you should know that there are four kings present in the deck of 52 card the king for spade heart club and diamond so these are the four things present in the card so for each categories there is one king and one queen so there are total of four king and four queens possible in the deck of 52 cards but here it is asking if you are taking one card here it is showing from a new card one card is drawn then what is the probability that it is a queen or king so first we will write the probability of getting the queen so we will do one by one so first step will be we will write the probability of getting a queen in the set of 52 cards so we will write it down here that probability of queen is equal to 4 divided by 52 similarly probability of getting a king from the deck of 52 cards is 4 divided by 52 because there are 4 kings so now what we will do is next thing for this formula is that you should remember this I will erase this thing next we will write probability of getting a queen or a king so here is the formula coming probability of getting a queen or king that will be equal to probability of getting a queen plus probability of getting a king so here if the question is asking or then we have to add them yes the both the probabilities should be added if the question is as asking or then what will be happening so 4 by 52 we have calculated the probability of queen similarly 4 by 52 the probability of king so 2 times 4 by 52 if we are adding so 4 divided by 52 plus 4 divided by 52 because it is the case of or so we have to add then we will get 8 divided by 52 that means it is equal to how much it is equal to 2 divided by 13 so it is very messed up here so the answer will be 2 by 13 you have to calculate and find now we will know for and so for and what we will do let us read the question and try to do and solve them and know them so the question is there are two pack of cards one card is drawn randomly from each pack so what is the probability that both are is so here both means it is telling that there are two set of cards that means one is having 52 card the other pack is also having the 52 cards so we'll take one card from here and one card from here and it is telling that both are ace that means here also we are getting the ace card that is a or one and here also we are getting the ace card that is a or one so a and a so here it is the case of and so and case what we will do we will know in the next slide so let's move to the next slide to know the answer so the probability of getting a from the first pack so let us assume first pack we have drawn a card and what is the probability that it is an ace so it will be 4 by 52 because there are 4 aces in the packet of 52 cards that means 4 a will be there so the probability of a from first pack will be 4 by 52 and probability of a from second pack will be also 4 by 52 so here what we will do is to find the probability of getting ace from the first set of card and ace from the second set of card we have to multiply the individual probability of getting ace from the each set of card that means 4 by 52 multiplied by 4 by 52 we will get 1 by 13 into 1 by 13 then after solving we will get as 0 0.0059 so the option d will be correct that is none of the above options are correct for the probability that both are aces so here in case of and we have to multiply and in case of or it is asking so we have to add the individual probability so to get more acquainted we will do one more time similar kind of question a die is rolled once what is the probability that it will show 2 or 5 so or means you have to think that it will be the case of some addition so we will know it is very simple so here we will do one by one so first thing is probability of getting 2 when a die is rolled that is how much it will be 1 by 6 because there are 6 possible outcomes and we need only 1 that is 2 so the probability of getting 2 will be 1 by 6 similarly we have to add because it is or so probability of getting 5 if a die is rolled is how much it will be also 1 by 6 because 1 5 is present in the dies and here 6 possible are outcomes are possible so 1 by 6 is the probability of getting a 5 1 by 6 is the probability of getting a 2 and here it is asking what is the probability that it will show 2 or 5 so as it is or we have to add them so we will get the answer as 
2 by 6 that is equal to 1 by 3. So, in this way we will be able to find the answer if it is asking or or and. So, or ke liye plus karna hai and ke liye multiplication karna hai. So, I hope you have learned something new from here. If you want more such videos, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon to get all further updates. See you guys in our next video.